Hi, I am Marvin Mishra and in today's video, we're going to talk about the best practices which needs to be followed for application initialization in multi-domain MDM SaaS. The agenda for today's video is prerequisites followed by the best practices which needs to be followed and how to set up application also known as application initialization or solution provisioning. The prerequisites are shared details of administrator of the org followed by the activation of that particular administrator user. So as part of Business 360 SaaS onboarding, a customer success manager will reach out to the new customer to get the details of administrator user. And once we have the details, a new org administrator user will be created in the org. Upon successful creation of the administrator user, customer will receive an email for confirmation which is valid for 48 hours and user needs to activate that particular administrator user which is created. Moving on to the best practices which needs to be followed for any application initialization. The org should be in org pruning state. All business 360 process under application integration should be in published state. All out of the box holders under Business 360 should not have any permission. Admin role should be assigned to the user. At least one group should be assigned to the user. And org should be upgraded to the latest release. Let's deep dive. Org state should be org provision. To check provisioning status of an org, we can run provisioning status API. To do so, we need to generate session ID first. We need to run a POST request which will change based on the pod region and we need to pass username and password. Once we send this request, we will get a session ID which needs to be followed as a header in the provisioning status API. Once we send this request, we will get the status as org provision for customer 360 application. So the org provision response will confirm that org is in provision state. Then with the user which we activated, we can log in into IICS and go to application integration to make sure all the process are in published state inside business 360 folder. So under application integration tab, we need to go to explore and inside business 360 folder we need to make sure that all these nine mdm processes are in published state then out of the back box folders under business 360 should not have any permission assigned to check this we need to go to business 360 console tab and under explore tab we will see the out of the box folders. To check the permission, we need to go to permissions tab and make sure under users and groups there are no permissions assigned. And we need to do the same for all the folders available. Then we need to check whether the admin role and a group is assigned to the user with which we are going to set up application. To do so, we need to go to administrator tab and under users, we need to check the user which got created. And we need to make sure at least one group is assigned to this user and the admin role is assigned to the user. If not, we can create a new group and assign to this user. Then we need to make sure that org should be upgraded to the latest release. To check that, we need to go to business 360 console tab and under question mark about, we'll see the org version. If the org is not upgraded to the latest release, we'll get a link under home page to upgrade the org to the latest release. Once you click on that 
upgrade release link it will trigger an internal solution upgrade job which can be checked from my jobs tab once all the prerequisites and best practices are taken care of we can set up the application which we want to use to do so we need to go to that particular application and click on yes setup application here we are setting up s3 supplier 360 application and we need to click on yes setup application the application setup will take some time and the progress can be monitored it will complete all the six steps and once done we will be able to use our application once setup is done successfully we will be able to access supplier 360 application similar steps we can follow for other applications as well like customer 360 multi domain mdm product 360 that's all for the best practices for application initialization thank you